A blessed day to everyone. I am Zaxon G. Salamanca, Master of Ceremony for Simca's 2022 Virtual Recognition Rites. Today's event marks as one of the most awaited commemorative events, not only for us pupils, but for our proud and supportive parents. It is the culmination of a year of hard work and the relentless pursuit of knowledge that will enable us to embrace opportunities and take on challenges life may bring with confidence, courage, and wisdom. It is also a celebration of another milestone. Remote schooling has made us all more flexible, more determined, persistent, adapt to technology, and gave us the opportunity to meet new classmates, friends, and teachers. I know you are equally as excited as I am, but before we begin, let me first acknowledge the following. Our committed and supportive parents, dedicated and loving patient teachers, and our good and faithful God who have been entirely with us in this journey. Let's bow down our heads for our opening prayer to be led by precious Hadassah Sibak Safra from Grade 1. Let us bow our head and close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you for all the blessings you have given us. Thank you for the divine knowledge that you have imparted to us throughout the academic year. We thank you for the skills, knowledge, and good morals that our teachers have taught us. May all these learnings be with us as we continue our journey towards success. Continue to bless and guide our teachers as they bring every pupil to their greatest potential. Bless our parents, classmates, and fellow pupils as well that were gathered here today. We bless your holy name in all of this we ask in the name of Jesus, your beloved Son. Amen. And now, let us all rise for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Now be seated. Let's have Athena Claire E. Belga from Grade 1 for her welcome remarks. Good day, all dear principal, teachers, parents, and most especially to my fellow pupils. We have finally come to an end of another meaningful school year that has put all our capabilities to a great test. On the part of pupils, we have faced countless assessments and learned especially in facing COVID-19. On the part of our teachers, we thank you for giving us knowledge, patience, and love. And for the school administrators, we thank you for supporting and giving us your strength. And for our parents, Thank you for giving us your guidance, patience, and love. To us brilliant students, supportive parents, hardworking teachers, members of the school administration, congratulations for a job well done. And welcome to the 2022 Southeast Asia Mission Christian Academy Recognition Day. 
Thank you so much, Athena, for that warm welcome. And now, let's listen to Gia Alexa S. Josue from Grade 2 for the opening remarks. To our school administrator, our school principal, Mrs. Bernadette Marcilia, to our dear teachers and staff, loving parents and guardians, fellow pupils, guests and friends, ladies and gentlemen, a blessed day to all of you. I am greatly honored to welcome you all on this very special day. On this important occasion, we get a chance to celebrate our achievements, resilience, and perseverance during these extraordinary and difficult times. We celebrate what got us here, the learnings, performance tasks, and exams. We celebrate that we've learned how valuable our friends and family are, how important our teachers are, and how blessed we are with the kindness of other people around us, the school, our classmates, and the people that we really love and make us happy. On behalf of the students for the school year 2021 to 2022, I extend my warm welcome to you all to Southeast Asia Mission Christian Academy's Recognition Day. It has been a long, perhaps exhausting, but certainly a fun, fruitful, and rewarding journey. Congratulations to us all! I would like to take this time to sincerely offer this day to our Almighty God, our parents, teachers, and our beloved principal. This is our humble gift to all of you. Rest assured that we will strive even harder to be the person that God created us to be and the person that you can always be proud of someday. If there is a thing I can take away from this global pandemic, it is to be kinder to myself and others. We are all struggling with something, and our hearts need a little kindness. May we continue to inspire one another, be kind, spread greatness, and lift each other up in difficult situations. Thank you very much, and may God bless us all. Thank you so much, Alexa, for your wonderful remarks. Now, let's proceed to the much-awaited part of the program, the awarding of academic honors and special awards for the school year 2021 to 2022.
Yeah, you're sitting there wondering where time went. It feels like you just started this journey and now you're here taking steps forward. Oh, and ready to change the world. You're strong enough to move mountains. I think you can. I think you can. And you are one in a million. So move ahead with confidence. You've got this. You're Sometimes it's hard to start a new chapter, but just remember you're the author of your life adventure. You're gonna show us how it's done. Oh, for generations to come.
Congratulations to all of us! Now, let's be inspired by Johan Phil K. Legaray as he will deliver to us his inspirational message. To our very responsible principal, Mrs. Bernadette Marcilia, our hardworking teachers, our beloved parents, and fellow pupils, a good and beautiful day to all. Today is a day of celebration, thanksgiving, and inspiration. Today, we celebrate the completion of a year-long learning journey. We celebrate because we survived the long, arduous hours facing only the screens of our laptops, cell phones, tablets, and desktop monitors. We celebrate having completed all performance tasks, accomplished all assignments, and passed the many quizzes and lengthy exams. Today, we celebrate and give honor to the pupils who have performed outstandingly in their studies and have gone the extra mile academically and beyond. And as our year-long hard work is recognized, we in turn honor both our parents and our teachers who have guided, supported, and sacrificed so much for us over the past year. Also, we celebrate because a more exciting learning adventure awaits. We are leveling up and moving forward next school year. In celebration, we anticipate and look forward to a more enriching journey ahead. This day indeed is a day of celebration. Today, we not only celebrate and give thanks, but also we are inspired. Inspired by our achievements, we are excited to move up and continue growing. Encouraged by finishing strong this year, we are ready to face the challenges of the next school year. As we encounter learning hurdles in the future, we can always look back to what we have accomplished this year and last year. By God's grace, two years of studying during the pandemic have prepared and inspired us to courageously engage 2023 and beyond. With God's help, we have endured and have prevailed. With His help, we will endure and we will prevail. Today, truly, amazingly, is a day of celebration, thanksgiving, and inspiration. What a wonderful year it has been. Parents, teachers, fellow pupils, together, it has truly been wonderful. And as we move up together still, it will be more beautiful. Congratulations to all of us. To God be the glory. Thank you so much, Yohan, for your very inspiring message to all of us. At this juncture, you are going to witness an intermission number from the selected SIMCA pupils from different grade levels. Let's give them a round of applause.
to celebrate when the Lord's your choice. Now's the time to celebrate and make a joyful noise. Now's the time to celebrate when the Lord's your choice. Now's the time to celebrate and make a joyful noise. Going across the land and a jam that I think you know. The groove and the move and the groove you've heard from the work of the 150. Now, this book called Sound may look all calm, but it's anything y'all but mild. It's all about praise when the big man plays and it makes the saints go wild. Now's the time to celebrate when the Lord's your choice. Now's the time to celebrate and make a joyful noise. Now's the time to celebrate and make a joyful The trumpet sound, let the tambourine kick too. With the harp and the lyre, everyone can hear how the praise of a love will come through. The strings, the brass, the cymbals crash, and the people clap their hands. The spirit's right, and with all their might, everybody starts to dance. Now's the time to celebrate when the love's your choice. Now's the time to celebrate and make a joyful noise. Now's the time to celebrate when the love's your choice. Now's the time to celebrate. Thank you for that amazing performance. For the acknowledgments, to thank God is Rising M. Berlawan, to thank school and teachers is Bon Angelo P. Remigio, to thank parents and family is Clarice Ley S. De Jesus, and to thank Simca friends is Dylan Mateo V. Gonzalez. Good day to all! I hope everyone is doing well today. I want to start by thanking God for allowing me to speak. Without God, I wouldn't be here today because He gives me the strength and courage to make it both academically and spiritually through my elementary years, especially when COVID-19 pandemic has arisen. We must give thanks to God. This past year of online schooling has not been easy for us, but I am grateful for all we have learned. Without Him, none of these would be possible. From Him, we receive peace, energy, and love for everything we do. In our present situation, we must trust that God always knows what is best for us. God's will for us will always align with His Word. Remember that wherever we are, God is always looking for us. In honor of this special day, let us look ahead and dream of all the possibilities that our future holds for us. We, pupils, have successfully passed another grade level. But this is not the end of our learning. We will all achieve our goals soon. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 says, In everything we give thanks. A heart of gratitude brings joy to God's heart and makes us richer than all billionaires. Thank you and congratulations to all of us. To God be the glory. To my fellow pupils and their families, our beloved school principal and teachers, good day. I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the school and all the teachers. The experience has been great so far and we really look forward to our classes every day. I have never been to school in the morning. It was a challenge waking up early, but because of my teacher's commitment, I am inspired and grateful that I never missed a class despite difficulties. 
I am confident that all of my classmates would like to express their gratitude to our dear school and teachers, as we are always grateful to all of you. On behalf of myself and my classmates, I would like to express my gratitude to all of the teachers who helped us in our journey. With your enormous hard work in making us better humans, words can never do justice to the immense contribution you have made in our lives. Thank you for your dedication and commitment to our school, fellow teachers and staff, and us pupils. We appreciate your professionalism, compassion, and commitment to your profession. It's a pleasure being with all of you today. Thank you. Greetings to our respected principal, beloved teachers, and my fellow pupils. I am grateful for this opportunity to deliver this meaningful speech. I would like to welcome all parents in this beautiful and happy occasion. To our dear parents and family, you are the most precious gems and gifts that God has given to each one of us. We couldn't imagine our future without you. All the success and recognition we receive today will not be possible without the unconditional love, support, and sacrifice you have done for us. There are not enough words to express how grateful and lucky we are to have you in our lives. To my mom and dad, thank you for the love, care, and guidance. Thank you for providing all the things that I need without a single complaint from your lips. All I hear from you are words of encouragement. I could not ask for more. On behalf of all the pupils at the top of my lungs, I would like to say to all our parents and family that we love you to the moon and back. Hope you all have a nice day. This seemingly an ending battle with COVID-19 has brought anxiety and hopelessness to many. Some fail to adapt to the changing times, but many of us, they manage to get by. These musings made me realize how all of us gathered here today are truly blessed to receive the gift of education. We are thankful that our minds are continuously fed with information and our soul nourished by the word of God, all possible through the undying support and unconditional love from our parents, teachers, classmates, school staff, and Simca friends. And with that, we would like to acknowledge the following to see Korea and Philippine Pastor So Joseph and Samanin Kim Music. Thank you for your guidance and warm welcome to our school, our second home. To Korean missionaries, to Evergreen Church, to Church of the Open Door International, San Francisco, and Philippine local churches. To Cody Kubao, thank you for accepting us into your facility and making sure we are safe and comfortable when we visit school. To Dr. Namnama de Guzman, our school dentist, and Nurse Bernadette Ramos, our school nurse. Thank you for looking after our school teachers and staff's health. Thank you also to Bishop Alfonso Cabansagan for his guidance and to Mr. Cesar Aldea for his help. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you very much, Ryzen, Bon, Clarice, and Dylan for your heartwarming acknowledgments. At this point, let us pay attention, pin our ears to our school principal, no other than our endearing teacher Bernadette V. Morcilia for her message. A blessed day to you, my dear pupils, and to your parents as well. Today marks another milestone in your school journey. Congratulations! The pandemic may have detained you in your homes for more than two years now, 
but it didn't stop you from learning and growing. So many other effects of this situation tried to challenge and prevent you from achieving, but your courage and determination, which God gave you, pushed you even more to thrive and flourish. Great job! This day, I also want to commend the collaboration between your parents and your teachers in attaining the goals of the school set for you. Their meaningful involvement has contributed much to your accomplishments. This is your teacher Bernadette, who thinks you can, who knows you can, and who believes you can. Keep going. Again, congratulations and God bless you all. Thank you very much, Teacher Bernadette. We are so pleased and delighted to your words. For our closing remarks, let's hear it from Hadassah D. Chavez from Grade 3. To our energetic principal, Teacher Bernadette, to our dear teachers and advisors, beloved parents and fellow students, a pleasant day to all of you. Today marks the end of another successful school year and truly one we should celebrate. Despite the challenges we have encountered this year and the limitations of online classes, here we are, all smiles and still thankful. Indeed, there are many things we are to be thankful for, not only for us the students but even more so to our parents and teachers. Take a pause and look around you. There we can see our families who are in and out of season have been our shelter and support system. To our moms and dads, thank you for all your time, patience, and effort to guide us through our online classes and activities. We have gone through some tough times and activities, but it is all worth it. We love you even more. Our dear teachers who tirelessly prepared for our online classes, who are patient enough to teach us despite the distance, thank you for showing your care for our learning that even penetrates our monitor. My schoolmates, we may have limited interactions due to our online classes, but I know that the bonding we had during our online classes is enough to spark friendship among us. Above all, we are thankful to our Almighty God who upholds and carried us this far, who always protects and provides and has always been a father to all who acknowledge Him. To my fellow pupils, big congratulations to all of us. With or without rewards, we are all winners, for God has a plan for each one of us, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give hope and a future. Again, congratulations and God bless us all. To God be the glory. Thank you so much, Hadassah, for your wonderful closing remarks. As we end today's affair, let's all bow down our heads for a closing prayer to be led by Daniel Lucas Eslanto from Kinder. Let us pray. Lord God, we praise you. We thank you for all these great things you have done for us. As we continue our journey, we pray that may your presence and guidance be with us. With you, O oh Lord, we know we will have a bright day days ahead. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. For some announcements, issuance of report card. June 15 from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tutorial classes from June 14 to July 13. Enrollment from June 15 to July 22. Opening of classes July 25. We have reached the end of our program. It is indeed an honor to be a part of this special event. Congratulations to all the pupils, to the parents for their guidance and support to your children, and also for the teachers for their wise words and provision. This event would never be possible without your help. Again, 
My name is Jackson G. Salamanca, declaring a fruitful school year 2022 to 2023. God bless everyone. Oh